Well, coming up now, it's the gold medal match in the women's open team compound. Looking down our 50 metre range. And it's a really interesting one. China versus Great Britain. China, a 2032 in the ranking round to be ranked fourth, came through Korea and Russia. Great Britain came through the ranking round of the 2034, ranked second, beating Brazil and Italy en route to this gold medal match. So let's go down onto the field of play and welcome the teams. So this Chinese team, they shot 236 points in the quarterfinals to set a new world record for match play in the compound women's open team competition. So there you are, the 29-year-old Zhu Jiamin, along with 30-year-old Lin Yushan and 30-year-old Li Hui. And Jaiman is not shy at all. She said earlier in the week that she thought her team were the best. Well, they've got a chance to prove it here, but they're up against a Great Britain. 25-year-old Jodie Grinham, a 19-year-old Jessica Stretton, and the 21-year-old Phoebe Pine. So Britain also broke the world record in the quarterfinals at 233 points but was beaten by China at the same time, so didn't get the record. Stratton was the W1 champion at the Paralympic Games in 2016. She switched to the compound open division for this season. This is her first event, first World Championships event shooting the compound. I mean, the, the difference in that is that the, the compound athletes can use the, the full accoutrements, the, the, the peep side, the scope, that, that the compound athletes in the able bodies competitions can use, whereas W1 is limited and doesn't have that scope and the peep side. Well, just as we are about to get underway for the gold medal match, it's the return of the rain here in Sertic and Bosch. The umbrellas are popping up. You get a good view of it there. China on target one will shoot first for the women's team gold medal. Nine. I would not want to be out there in this. Well, 28 out of a possible 30 is a good start from China, but a 10 is the response from Great Britain. And that 10 was Jess Stretton, the one we just spoke about switching over to the compound open division. She's really taken to it like a fish in water. Nine. Is that your reference to the rain there, Chris? because it is starting to come down pretty hard. Nine. But you see the targets are getting wet as well. Does the rain affect the target? Uh, the, the targets are printed on waterproof paper and 
And what's more, not just the, the colours and the and the finish, there's a there's a lattice of of material yeah. of um, of threads running through them to make sure they they maintain structural stability. Well, it's a very fine start from China. 56 out of a possible 60. It's a good start, but 56 is four points dropped. That's as many points as they dropped during the whole match when they set that world record in the quarterfinals. Well, add to that the fact that Great Britain are shooting even better and they potentially can get to 58 here. So the archers have to put their hands up when they finish their shot to show they're done before their teammate can begin. But many archers rush it, so they do it too fast. They do it as part of their motion, and that, I think, is a mistake because you need to complete your shot before you put your hand up, before you make any other movements. Well, Great Britain are getting a 57 in that first end. It means they have the early lead here in this gold medal match. World Championship title at stake. And you can see there, Jodie Grinham just drying her sight there with the sleeve of her top. So that just shows you that uh, the, the weather is starting to play, the rain is starting to play a factor. Well, inside that sight is a, is a magnified lens, a scope, which, which magnifies the target, which makes it closer when she's aiming. And it's glass, of course, it's glass. So any drops on that glass are going to distort her vision, make it more difficult to aim, and it's particularly difficult if she's using a very small dot to aim with. If uh, a drop of water gets on that, then it can cause all sorts of problems. Well, some good support here for the British team, just uh, off across the channel from Great Britain. A little bit further for fans of uh, the People's Republic of China. course the Brits very used to the rain there is the Chinese support I should say some of the Chinese support there is a bigger contingent here in Sertigen Bosch than just those two So going into the second end, China trailing by a single point to Great Britain will shoot first as the rain continues to fall here in the Netherlands. Zhao Zhaoman was in the team that came second in Beijing two years ago. Said she wanted to do one better this time around. Well, dropping just a single point between the three of them. Zhao, Lin and Li getting a 29 out of 30 to put the pressure on the British team. Stratton in the middle again. Yeah, and Stratton completing her shot before lifting up her arm to indicate that the next archer should begin. Oh. 
so at the halfway stage in the second end China have come from one point behind to lead by a single point and of course that accumulative score on the right hand side is the key thing at the end of the match That's four straight tens for the Rio 2016 individual gold medalist, Sao Jaiman. She is the only one. No, two straight tens, my mistake. So it's another 56 when they had a moment or a bit of momentum with them. China have given Great Britain an opportunity to extend their lead. There's a fourth straight 10 from Jess Stratton. She's the only one not to have missed the middle so far in this match. Yeah, impressive stuff from her. Phoebe Pine up next. Phoebe shooting a hinge style back tension release. Aims at the middle and just waits for it to go off. Doesn't click any buttons. Well, leveling up on score there in that end. Great Britain maintain their one point advantage over China and much and much of it is to do with Jess Stretton and those four tens she shot twice as many tens as her other two teammates combined Well, she's looking pretty happy with herself, uh, Jessica Stratton. Four tens in a row. And uh, seems to be quite a relaxed air amongst the British team. They're keeping themselves dry. And there are the British team. Look, smiling and enjoying themselves. But it's really interesting with uh, archery and uh, especially with teams where you see the dynamic a lot more that some archers prefer a bit more of a relaxed uh, atmosphere others prefer it nice and solid and completely focused uh, with little emotion and we are seeing that contrast here yeah i would say on the whole the world archery para championships are a little bit more relaxed than some of our other events um, a lot of these athletes are lovely people. A lot of these athletes are very fun people, I have to say. That's suggesting that some aren't, Chris. I wouldn't suggest such a thing. They're here to shoot, they're here to compete for a world title, but they're also here to really enjoy themselves and, uh, and see some people that they haven't seen for a long time. These athletes, it's a community. It's a community that doesn't get to meet that often. Uh, and you can, you can get that atmosphere here. Well, that's the halfway stage of this gold medal match Great Britain are leading China by a single point China will get the second half underway Ten. Nine. Not a bad start for China. First drop point from Jessica Stretton. Okay. 
that's the first 10 from Pine. So marked as a nine, potentially could go to a measure that one though. Those arrows that land just at the bottom of the 10, it's, it's difficult to see from, from this distance where the arrows are being spotted from, whether it's, it's clipped the, the edge of the black. Yeah. That's why it's been marked with an asterisk. Yeah, they are gonna go to the target judge to measure that third arrow from Great Britain. But meanwhile, China score another 10. Yeah. Dialed in on the centre here. Well, it's a third of 56 in a row for the Chinese team. Just gave that one away with her look then. She's had a couple of arrows land low. I don't know if she's struggling to get her pin up into the middle when she's aiming. Well, a 55 from Great Britain has the potential, actually marked as a 54, has the potential to be marked up to a 56, which will mean it's all square in the third end and Great Britain maintain their lead, but there's two arrows going to a measure. So Great Britain could potentially be behind by that single point once the measure's done. Let's see if we can hear the target judge. This is the important target. So they've got one of the two, which puts the max level at 168 each. Yeah, that uh, nine asterisk stays as a nine. The uh, eight asterisk goes up to a nine. We wait for the uh, official confirmation, but we suspect that uh, 54 will go up to 55, and there it is. So all square at 168. This match comes down to six arrows per team and the fourth and final end. So the range is declared clear by the target judge. And China will get the final end of this gold medal match in the women's compound team event underway. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start. China have chosen to put their strongest archer first in the rotation. Nine. Nine. 
So dropping just two points. We switch over to Great Britain and Jessica Stretton. And it's a good start from her for Great Britain too. Stressing, arguably Britain's strongest archer in this match, also starting off. Nine. Bit more of a solid shot there from Phoebe Pine. Just 21 years old. Jodie Grimm has a chance to give Great Britain a lead yeah. here, and she does. One point ahead at the halfway stage in the final end for Great Britain. China have to put the pressure on with another big score in these final three arrows for them. Well, Zhao Zaiman has been really great in this match. She shot two nines to start and hasn't missed a ten since. Well, a brilliant 30 out of 30 for the final three arrows for China. Really has put the pressure on Great Britain. Nine. Well, they can only afford that one dropped point here. Two tens required for Great Britain to stay in this match. And when the pressure was on, Phoebe Pine has put it into the eight. Only the third eight of the whole match between the two teams. Ten. Well, a 10 to finish there from Jodie Grinham. But uh, subject to the final confirmation, China have taken this in the final end. Coming from behind against Great Britain to take the gold medal and the world championship title, 226 to 224. And it was all about those last three arrows. China, XXX, three tens, finishing strong, finishing well enough to win the world championships. No confirmation yet, but Zhao Zhai Man's already scooted off. And there is confirmation from the target end of the range. China have taken the 2019 women's team compound world championship gold medal.